culture in uh, Staffordshire Boot area land, especially in forums or Facebook groups, specifically depicted at those that have a dog that is not to the current standards, which are show standards to begin with, but especially not to the current type of show dogs. And why is that? So Staffordshire Bull Terrier was once a Bull and Terrier breed, so a pit dog, and then they had their first show standard. And the first show standard is very close to the type of dogs that I had, namely close to the Bull and Terrier, the pit dogs. And that is because they were still dogs capable of performing well. And then the first show standard was revised. So what they did is they kept the weight and reduced the, the height of the widths. So that results in a lot, much more bulky type of dog to further discriminate it from other type of breed. So no longer function, but only form was followed. Instead of form follows function as in a working breed. But the Irish, they kept to the working standards a lot longer and therefore they still have dogs that look a lot more closer to the original example. But even if you look at the, the revised show standard, most of the today's show dogs are much heavier still than those dogs that they had as an example for the revised standard. So they're over-exaggerating and over-exaggerating more and more. Um, why are they, are they so toxic against you? If you show another narrative, it's quite easy. They see and they are confronted with your dogs. That this is the way that it really should be. And instead of rethinking it to themselves and doing something with that knowledge, they just go against it. And they display toxicity and block you out, cancel you, cancel your voice, block your membership, remove your posts that they cannot uh, disseminate because you are spitting facts, the truth. And that's the same thing. There was also a guy with petrol terriers on the forum and he was despised all the time and he left. And that's the toxic culture and toxicity in those groups too. But if you look at these dogs, these are petrol terriers. They look a lot more like, especially a male, like a functioning Bull and Terrier, those are the original Chefsche Bull Terrier, than their dogs do. But that's not something that they like. About the Irish Chefsche Bull Terrier, they could say, okay, they are too big. But those better dog terriers, they are smaller than their dogs. They still have working capability. They still have to really uh, functional build. And if you also look in the history of the Platinum Terrier, they are from the Northumberland. The Northumberland Terriers are the Bull Terriers that were smaller. So the smaller dogs could not only be combating in the ring, and could also be used for other blood sports, such as Red Pit. Because in the Red Pit they count how many rats you are able to kill within a certain time frame and divide it by the weight. Smaller dogs would be in favor. And those Northumberland Terriers, which are small pit type of dogs, were then crossed with Border Terriers and Lakeland and the uh, Paddington Terriers to create the Petrodog Terrier that we now know. So, as an optimal working type of rural terrier. And that's something that they just cannot live with. And they try to block out as much as possible. If you tell them the truth, what should be prioritized in the breed. So I hope this video helps. I'm not saying that complete Savshibu Terrier is a miss. They also have very nice people around. They're very open-minded, even if they like show dogs. But there are also some that really block out other views. And already the show dog is, of course, dominant in the views because most of the boat areas are of that type, easy as that. Have a great day.